Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about absolute value equations, and we're going to solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation, the absolute value of negative 9 plus v all over 8 equals 3. Okay? Well, my first step to isolate the absolute value is to multiply both sides by 8. That eliminates the 8s here. Uh, leave me with a negative 9 plus v in the absolute value equals 3 times 8, which is 24. From there, I can break this apart into two equations, okay? Because uh, the absolute value is already isolated. Leaving me with negative 9 plus v equals a positive 24, and negative 9 plus v equals a negative 24. So, from there, I solve each one individually, right? I have to add a 9 to both sides of the equation, leaving me with v equals 24 plus 9, which is 33. And here I add a 9 to both sides as well, leaving me with v equals, and this one's tricky, okay, negative 24 plus 9 is a negative 15. From there, we have our final answers of 33 and negative 15. I have to write it nice and neat, negative first, so we have v equals negative 15, and positive 30. Three. So let's recap here. We started, or we're given, with the absolute value of negative 9 plus v all over 8 equals 3. I multiplied 8 to both sides to isolate my absolute value, leaving me with the absolute value of negative 9 plus v equals 3 times 8, which is 24. I then can break this apart into two equations. Negative 9 plus v equals positive 24. And negative 9 plus v is a negative 24. That's what we're looking for, sorry. I then, to get uh, each variable by itself, I added 9 to both sides of both equations, leaving me with v equals a positive 33, and v equals a negative 15. I'll write that from least to greatest because it looks nice here, and so my final answer here is v equals negative 15, and a positive 33. 